Okay, I'm going to have a brunch with friends and this is my little outfit, the Trader or Trader Joe Target bag. And yeah, very simple and easy. god i woke up at like six something got up around seven to go to the job interview granted i knew that this is not the job i wanted to do all the position was good but it was too many hours and just too far away frankly but i thought okay i'll just go for experience and to practice my questions because i honestly i was hesitant because for me there were like some red flags and my intuition was telling me like mm-mm 
don't do it but i decided to go anyways because you know i researched this in uh on reddit some people were saying like hey some people actually pay to have mock interviews and like um you know if you have the actual interview just go and you can practice and i was like that's actually true because one of my last interviews was not great i felt like i was underprepared so let me just go ahead prepare well and i prepared so much uh, had different questions that I answered, had different questions to ask them. It was property management assistant position. Anyways, I go there and I'm like, hello, I have an interview with so-and-so. And the lady who greeted me, she gives me this like paper. She goes to another room. And I thought she gave me some information to read while I'm waiting for the property manager. She's like, oh, here is the assessment test you will complete. And it will take 12 minutes. It will be timed. And then there will be another test once you're done with this one. And I was like that. I do understand they probably don't want to test like my IQ or whatever. Maybe they didn't want to do that. But I'm no longer in school and I read now so many credit posts about it. And the majority of the people agree that this is just plain dumb, honestly. So anyways, and I look at her and I'm saying, oh, I thought I'm here for the interview. I did not know there would be tests. Um, I already honestly passed a lot of the exams. I have a degree. I just passed the exam for real estate license. I don't know what else you want me to do. I didn't say that, but I said, I thought I'm here for the interview. I didn't know about the test. And she was like, oh yes, you'll have interviews after that. So how long this thing will take? First of all, a lot of like, I do not have a job. Other people may have a job and they may need to be somewhere. Why don't you warn and say, okay, this interview will take an hour because there are tests included. I feel like they wasted my time. Anyway, so I'm like, oh, okay. And still in my head, it rings, there's a second test, there's a second test. So anyways, my husband was with me because I asked him to drive with me. It was like far away and I was kind of scared to drive. And anyways, he drove with me. So he was in the car and I was thinking, okay, he's also in the car. Then I sit down to open this questionnaire and it's like 70 plus questions asking like the sun to the planets is like the earth to and four different answers i answered three questions and honestly it gave me a flashback to a job interview i had back in belgium and they gave me the same test and back then i thought i just need to get up and leave and it's funny because i was thinking about that experience a few days ago and now here we are again so i'm sitting there and i'm texting my husband i'm, I'm saying they gave me the test i really want to get up and leave and basically i got up and left i went to the room where like the main lobby main office is and lady said, oh, all done. And I said, I'm here for the interview, not to do the tests. I don't think it will work out. I'm proud of my reaction. I came back from the gym. That was like an okay session, but I got a ticket to follow a boy, like unexpected by myself. I mean, I knew they would be here, but I wanted to go with my husband, but he's fishing. He said like, do you want to go alone? and i got a ticket by myself i am so stressed because i'll have to go get a lift and basically direct lift because there is no such direction in that was rude <gasps> pringy he's attacking me anyways there is no direction in lift so i cannot really actually choose where to go i think we'll figure it out but i'm happy it was a cheap the cheapest ticket and um i'll be so far away but i think i'll still be able to see the screen yeah just listen to the music uh that's all that matters just listen to the music i'm very freaking excited that was on my bucket list for so freaking long like i've been listening to follow boy since 12 if not earlier so it's been the concert has been on my list for very very long and i kind of feel like it's their last tour but maybe i'm wrong so we'll see but i'm very excited <laughs>
for the evening. Not so happy. Um, the concert was amazing though. Patrick sounded great and was like extremely lovely. Today I had an interview and basically the same thing happened like yesterday or similar one. So basically I come inside and say hey I have an interview with Courtney at 9 a.m. There are two other people that they're filling out some sort of a form and I thought okay those are probably customers but this lady gives me this form and she said if you can fill it out for me and I was like oh okay that's weird and it basically ask you for social security number, address, previous employment, history, any gaps, driver license information, education, and then at the end it's right it, they ask you to write like a little essay to sell yourself on them why you're good. And I was I thought it was so weird because like they sure should have my resume. Like that's why they called me. They we scheduled an interview at 9 a.m. So I started writing that form, but I was so uncomfortable putting my social security number and other things like that, like my driver license. And I wanted to ask them, but honestly, I was already like so discouraged. I wanted to ask like, how, how are they storing it? And why do they need that? If they already have my resume, 
so i honestly i was kind of shocked and then i started glancing at other ladies and i've seen that they basically doing the same thing and they ask you for what position you're applying for even if it's a standard procedure i didn't just walk in I had the interview at 9 a.m. You should not be asking that form prior to offer. And also all my employment history, my education is already in the resume. Somehow you contacted me. And I just got up and said, there's too much personal information before the interview. And especially with two other people, yes, it will not work out. Maybe I'm overreacting. But the fact that they never said it's a group interview, why are there two other people? It's just so weird and i really felt so stupid if i were by myself there maybe i would think to fill out certain uh, parts and for the rest just write like c resume or stuff like that at the end they asked for the signature the fact that there were two other ladies that was so suspicious to me because again we were not warned at least i was not warned that it's going to be a group interview and if it's not does it imply that i have to sit there for like an hour waiting for you to interview two other people that's just disrespectful i'm just disappointed but i think it's important to set the boundaries like i'm i'm exhausted and i'm tired i'm just so done and disappointed like i'm not broken like obviously I, I have to keep going i can't give up but that was such a weird experience i don't know what to do like um but the concert was great i did have a feeling like there's something wrong with in my life like i don't know i was listening to them for so long for like 20 years since i was 12 and so just knowing that fall boy is still here and i'm still me and here is weird This place feels so, so magical and like fairy-like. It's so beautiful here. Like, look at this, the little island. But there's so much trash. So next time, probably, if I'll come here with my husband, I'll probably start picking up trash. I just don't have any tools, no plastic bag, no nothing. But next time, I'm definitely doing that. It's just so upsetting that there is so much trash. It's insane.
it feels so peaceful here and as if I stepped into like different dimension I don't know it feels like a feral different dimension like I stepped into the fairy circle and now I'm in the fairyland far away from day-to-day -day issues and everything will be okay and I went to follow up a concert and my dream came true and also my hair looks crazy per usual <laughs> <laughs> 